These days, weapons in video games can come in all shapes and forms. Long gone are the days where you'd use either a gun or a sword or some sort of deadly laser esque shooter device to kill your enemies. Creativity has really shaken up the way that we kill things. Digitally, that is. But at the end of the day, sometimes you just want to hack and slash away with a good old sword. So today, we're taking a look at the age old reliable weapon with our list of the top 10 greatest swords in video games. All of which are interesting, innovative, and fun takes on the bladed killing tool. Starting us off in at number 10, Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII. The Buster Sword is one of the most iconic video game swords out there. Even if you're unfamiliar with Final Fantasy and Cloud, you'd probably recognize the image of him holding the sword if you ever came across it. It's also massive. Comically so. It's an enormous broadsword that's approximately 5 or 6 feet in length and 1 foot wide. The weapon is one of the longest running in the series, and has received subtle changes over the years when it comes to tiny details, but overall has generally remained the same in appearance. Often referred to as a giant kitchen knife, the idea behind its development was for it to match up with Cloud Samurai Musashi Miyamoto based imagery, with the sword being reminiscent of the ore carved Saburitu waster sword used by the swordsman. And at number 9, the Z Saber from Mega Man X. Zero's weapon of choice, the Z Saber is pretty darn cool. Zero first acquires it in Mega Man X2 after he was remodeled by the X Hunters, and it's been in every game since. Projecting a solid beam of energy from its hilt, the sword is more than just your typical take on a technologically advanced weapon. It can copy the abilities of mavericks that Zero has defeated in battle, meaning it can transform into ice, fire, steel, lightning, and plasma, making it incredibly versatile. Also commonly known as the Beam Saber, it can also release a shockwave after using two charge shots. Moving on to number 8, the Energy Sword from Halo 2. The Energy Sword is often considered an OP item in Halo 2. It made close range fighting real difficult, or real easy depending on which side of the weapon that you're on. It's actually the signature weapon of the Sangheili, being their chief weapon of nobility since it was first created during the Ages of Discovery. It's regarded as holy, and is meant to express its owner's personal skill, clerical honor, and combat viability. And it made multiplayer a total bitch if you didn't get to that sword first. And at 7, Rebellion from Devil May Cry. The Rebellion is perhaps the best thing about Devil May Cry 2, depending on what your feels are concerning the game. Without breaking down the likes and dislikes fans of the series had over the sequel title, the Rebellion was arguably one of its highlights. Highlights. It became Dante's trademark sword in the series, given to him as a keepsake from his father. Later on in the third game, it would impale him, and once it got a taste of Dante's blood, it had awakened, and gave our hero the ability to use his latent power devil trigger. Talk about inspiring teamwork. And at number 6, the Time Dagger from Prince of Persia. Okay. Sure, technically it's a dagger, but it's a weapon just as incredible as any of the other blades on this list. The Dagger of Time is an artifact that is linked to the Sands of Time, which is the substance that the game's initial trilogy is concerned with. It is the only container other than the hourglass that is strong enough to hold the sands, and whoever wields it can control time by using up the sands within it, meaning you can reverse, slow down, or stop time altogether. Definitely not a bad ability to have, although for those wielding it, it comes with a poignant consequence. You remember all of the original and altered timeline that occurred prior to using the dagger. In at number Number 5, Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Easily one of the neatest looking weapons on this list, Sora's Keyblade has become an iconic part of the Kingdom Hearts series. It's a mysterious item that shares a link with its owner, and is multifaceted. You can use it as a weapon, but you can also use it to unlock things, from doors to chests to links to worlds, and in some cases, the darkness in people's hearts. Plus, changing the keychain at its bottom changes its appearance. Also, fun fact, according to developers, originally the weapon was meant to look more like a chainsaw than a sword, but the team eventually opted out of that idea and went with the blade instead. Up next, number 4, the lightsaber, from literally any Star Wars game. Lightsabers are so ingrained in pop culture at this point that there should be no doubt why this weapon deserves a spot on this list. Who hasn't grown up wishing that they could swing a lightsaber around? Well, thanks to the wonders that are video games, players now have the opportunity to do exactly that. From Star Wars The Old Republic to the Battlefront games, getting your Jedi or Sith on while wielding your very own lightsaber has been a massive appeal to Star Wars fans and gamers out there alike. And it doesn't seem like that'll be changing anytime soon. And at number 3, Soul Edge from Soul Calibur. The Soul Edge is one of the most epic looking swords on this list, and everything about the sword, from its origin to what it can do, is equally as intense. Initially, it started off as a regular sword, but then was bathed in blood and hatred countless times, turning it into a demonic weapon with a wicked soul called Inferno. Anyone who touches its hilt is taken over by its curse, with the spirit of the sword invading their mind like a parasite. It's also got an eye on the hilt, and that's creepy as fuck. Up next, number two, the Master Sword from Legend of Zelda. The Master Sword may look like a regular old 
Soul Sword, but what it stands for and its importance in the Legend of Zelda games makes it so much more. Also known as the Blade of Evil's Bane, among many other nicknames, the Master Sword is the legendary weapon who is drawn to heroes who have earned the right to wield it. It was originally crafted by the goddess Hylia as the goddess sword, and later forged into what we know it as today, with it being bathed in the three sacred flames that across the land would become known as the Kingdom of Hyrule. It has the power to repel evil, and is the only weapon that can defeat Ganon. First introduced in A Link to the Past, it wasn't until its appearance in Ocarina of Time that it was given the handle coloration, to an extent, that we are familiar with today. And finally, in our number one spot, the Blades of Chaos from God of War. The Blades of Chaos are arguably one of the most enjoyable weapons to use on this list. Not only are they awesome aesthetically, but they've become ingrained in the God of War mythos ever since they debuted in the very first game of the franchise, becoming one of Kratos' main weapons. They're even recovered by the hero in the most recent God of War title, which gave shivers to many a longtime fan of the series. The Blades of Chaos are a pair of chain blades made by the God of War, Ares, who had crafted them for a servant who would prove themselves worthy of his service. Guess that didn't really work out for him, did it? <laughs> All right, there we have it, friends. What's your favorite sword to use in a video game? Give us a share in those comments below and let us know. If you dug this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more video game lists, news, updates, and more. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one.